foray into show business, Jordan has proven once again that the right physical dimensions and an unabashed willingness to flaunt, tease and strip for the camera are all that's required to achieve fame and fortune. Her relationship with Australian pop star Peter Andre has seen them become the most shameless celebrity couple in the UK. Having met on the set of the reality TV show, I'm a Celebrity, Get Me Out of Here, Peter and Jordan embarked on a very public relationship that nauseated even the most avid tabloid readers. As one of Britain's most written about and photographed couples, their tacky wedding in 2005 was even rumoured to have included a wedding cake in the shape of Jordan's famous breasts. Peter's career was revitalised after their relationship saw them both reach a new level of fame neither had experienced before. It could be considered one of the greatest ever comebacks in pop as Peter re-released his hit 1996 single, Mysterious Girl, and it stayed at number one for over five weeks in 2006. In 1992 and 93, Peter defied the odds by becoming a pop star in Australia when the last thing the country was looking for was a singing, dancing, muscle flexing R&B pop hero. He took time off and was forgotten about. Then he married Jordan. Jordan, whose real name is Katie Price, is the UK's leading glamour model and pin-up star, famous for her surgically enhanced double F-sized breasts. Her relationships have represented one lucky break after another. What better way to ascend to the top than to cavort with a television personality, the lead singer of a popular band, a couple of soccer stars and an Aussie singer? In 2004, she published her autobiography, Being Jordan, to surprisingly positive reviews, and it became the fourth best-selling autobiography of all time in the UK. Her shameless ways have earned her countless fans, and not just because of her chest size. I've always thought she was absolutely gorgeous, so um, I just followed it from there, really. And when she got the boob jobs, I thought, mm, is it going to make a difference? But no, not for me. It doesn't bother me. It's quite alarming that some young fans think she's the perfect role model. The way she doesn't care what anyone thinks, um, the way she manages to be a single mum and manages her career at the same time, I just think she's uh, the epitome of what a successful woman should be. With a perfect six-pack and chiselled features, Peter appeared to be a short-lived sex symbol in the 90s, but it seems his revival has done a lot for his reputation. And he's six pat and he's cute little face. And he can and sing really well. Yeah, he can sing really well, no matter what anyone says. My God, oh. see, on the TV, you think he looks good. But, oh, how good is he in real life? Excellent. This man is just sex on legs, basically. <laughs> Jordan gave birth to the couple's first son, named Junior, in 2005. The new baby was a little brother for Harvey, Jordan's three-year-old son by footballer Dwight York. Jordan seems to have added years to her proverbial 15 minutes of fame by becoming one of the most outlandish celebrities the British tabloid press has ever encountered. Famous for being famous, she teamed up with Peter for the remake of A Whole New World, which was panned mercilessly by critics and audiences alike, who compared her voice to that of a mouse. behaviour and lifestyle are often questioned, from their tacky, over-the-top wedding to their joint singing career, it seems Jordan and Peter Andre enjoy being one of the world's most shameless couples. Their ability to flirt with controversy while bathed in the media spotlight has earned them begrudging respect among those who seek fame without actually doing anything. Oh.